On his final edition of CBS Sunday Morning, Charles Osgood introduced his successor, former Today Show co-host Jane Pauley. The on-air transition will likely be welcomed by fans of the beloved Sunday Morning News magazine. Pauley has been a popular substitute host of the broadcast since 2014, and she was considered the most likely person to take over for Osgood. Osgood, 83, announced his retirement plan last month, and Sunday was his final program. He will continue to appear on the show occasionally, according to CBS News President David Rhodes. There's nobody like him, and there's no show like this show, Rhodes said in a phone interview. Polly's promotion is, in part, a signal that the show itself isn't changing. Executive producer Rand Morrison is staying in place. And Polly, 65, is well known to CBS Sunday Morning viewers. Polly joined the program as a contributor in April 2014, a few months after the program profiled her distinguished career. We first got to know Jane when we did a story about her, Morrison said in a statement. Our viewers immediately responded by suggesting she belonged on Sunday morning permanently. And as is so often the case, they were right. She's a dedicated, experienced broadcast journalist. But every bit as important, she's a delight to work with. A worthy successor, and a perfect fit. Polly's first program will be on October 9th. Next week, October 2nd, Sunday morning is preempted by an NFL football game. She recently praised Osgood while speaking at the news and documentary Emmys. He's going to be missed by millions, she said. She asked aloud, what will Sunday morning be without his presence? His calm demeanor? His civility? His curiosity? His delight? She said CBS Sunday morning is a kind of church for many Americans. It is the most watched Sunday morning news program, reliably outrating all the political talk shows. For 22 years, the Church of Sunday Morning has had an efficient who reliably conveyed grace, Polly said at the Emmys. People will miss him deeply, because even in the worst of times, it felt like Charles Osgood could see the best in us.